Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the Jones Zone. Today I'm going to tell you about a time when God showed me hell. Uh, this happened earlier this year. I'd say it was around spring, I think. It was not that long after I had uh, quit smoking weed. But um, anyways, one morning, I, uh, I just remember waking up in my bed and I'm just planning on uh, what to do for the day. And uh, usually what I'll do is I'll get up and I'll start to pace around the room and I'll just start thinking, you know, for about maybe 10, 15 minutes. Um, you know, something like that. You know, I was I was totally awake uh, when all this happened. And um, you know, I couldn't decide what I wanted to do for the day, so I just wanted to go and lay back down. And uh, when I did that, you know, I just, um, I'm laying there in bed. And then, uh, next thing you know, my eyes start getting really heavy. Um, and then, I think I may have closed them for a second or something like that. And then when I reopened them, I was standing in this really dark place that... It, it looked like a, a dungeon, um, or something like that. There were these bars all around me. And they were, they were very thick, um, and rusty looking. Uh, the walls and the floors looked like they were made of cobblestone, and they went on for what looked like hundreds of feet uh, in front of me. Uh, but at the end of this tunnel, uh, there was a beam of light, uh, a shaft of light coming down from the ceiling, and it was shaped like Jesus. You know, it was shaped like Jesus, like in, in, uh, in an image of him with his arms spread open, you know, very lovingly and everything like that. Uh, and it was as he was, as if he were offering a hug or something. And, um, you know, I, I must have been walking in this dungeon for maybe a little more than a minute or something like that. And uh, the feeling was really dreadful in this place. You know, I've had dreams of being in dungeons and, like, you know, subterranean places and, and, and you know, and, and dark and scary places, but I've never had anything or experienced any kind of uh, situation like this as, as vivid as this one. You know, this place felt so real that I could tell, like, uh, just how dense, you know, you would breathe in the air, you could feel how dense the air was. You know, and a lot of people say that, you know, it's it's hot in hell or something like that. But in this place, um, it was actually kind of chilly. You could feel the chill on your skin as, you know, as you're walking through it. And that's what I felt. Um, but guys, this dream or this vision, it must have been less than a minute or so. Uh, because uh, one moment I was awake as I am now. You know, all of my faculties going and stuff like that. And, and then the next moment, I was just submerged into this place. And it was very, it was very terrifying. Um, very, very terrifying. But the only redeeming quality about it was that, that shaft of light. And uh, that was there at the end of the tunnel. Uh, you know, and which to me seemed like, it has a very symbolic, it had a very symbolic meaning that despite me going through all of this, uh, this darkness and stuff like that, um, th there was still hope. There was, there was still hope there at the end of the tunnel. You know, that's how I interpreted this. Um, that was the only thing that was, that just kind of brought peace to me after I, after I, uh, woke up from this. Um, but the thing is, is that at the time, you know, I, when I had this, I, I considered myself to be a Christian. Um, but I wasn't praying, you know, and I wasn't really deep into the Word of God. I wasn't reading my Bible that much. Um, and I didn't really believe that Jesus was my Lord and Savior with all of my heart, you know. Um, and uh, so after I had this experience... You know, I, I, I it, it just led me to confess with my mouth just over and over again. I would do it, you know, um, just 
at the end of the day, se several times I would have to say, I had to confess over, you know, a few times that, yeah, Jesus is indeed my Lord and Savior. Um, and um, since then, I haven't had an experience like this ever again. No dreams or nothing like this. Um, guys, I just like to say that hell is real. It's very real. Um, and just uh, please take sin very seriously and make Jesus the Lord of your life. And, the, you know, putting him at the center of your life. So I hope this, you know, maybe this helps or, or something like that or, you know, help to uh, anybody who's going through some similar experiences with dreams or something that uh, is, you know, that is just, um, there comes a time where you need to take uh, your salvation and, you know, the afterlife, you know, very seriously. So uh, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace be with you. Stay blessed. Thank you.